Charlie and I for long have felt that the auto industry is just too tough. You know, the Ford Motor Company, I mean, Henry Ford uh, looked like he owned the world uh, with the Model T and then, and he brought down the price dramatically. He took up wages dramatically. He was, he might have been with a different personality uh, uh, or some different views. He might have been elected president of the United States. I mean, there, there, there was a good book that came out on that recently that told about the story of, well, it tells a little about Nebraska in terms of it, but Henry Ford and, and uh, Thomas Edison joining up uh, but maybe a year or two less. It, it, it'll, if you're interested in, in autos, you ought to read that book. But Henry Ford did that, and you know, and 20 years later, that uh, they were losing money, and they had a guy with a gun in his pocket. I think Harry Bennett, you know, that was was running the Ford Motor Company. It was on its way to the junk heap when the Whiskers came in, and and. Henry Ford II, Hank the Deuce, as they call him, brought in Tex Thornton and my friend R.J. Miller and a few people. But it's just, it, I've, I've read, I was reading the other day, actually, the 1932 annual report of General Motors. And uh, it's one of the best annual reports I've, I've read. It's a totally honest, you know, assessment of exactly where they were. They had 19,000 dealers then. And... Uh, Population, as I mentioned earlier, was about 120 million or so. And now with 330 million people, all brands in the United States have like 18,000 dealers or something. It, it, it's just a business where you've got a lot of worldwide competitors. They're not going to go away. And they look like, it looks like there are winners at any given time, but it doesn't get you a permanent place. Although, as I mentioned, I would say Ferrari is in a special place. But they only sell 11 or 12,000 cars uh, a year. And the uh, U.S. last year, I think there were 14 million something. And uh, uh, it's, it's not a business where we find it fascinating to be in. We like our dealership operation. But I don't think I can tell you what the auto industry will look at ten, look like five or ten years from now. I do think that you're right, that, 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 uh, that you know, that there's a... You will see a change in the vehicles, but you won't see anybody that owns the market because they changed the vehicle. Charlie? Well, the electric vehicle is coming big time, and that's a very interesting development. At the moment, it's imposing huge capital costs and huge risks. And I don't like huge capital costs and huge risks. 